Oh, thank you. <laughs> Indonesians are such nice people. I absolutely love them. Yogyakarta is a special region in Indonesia that's extremely famous for its mountains, waterfalls, temples, and so much more. As most places in Southeast Asia, I thought it's best to explore it with a motorbike. So the very first day I arrived in Yogyakarta, I instantly rented a motorbike, hopped on it, and started motorbiking all across the region. are beautiful! Would you look at this picture spot? One of the first places I visited in Yogyakarta was called Kalibiru. It's basically a viewpoint with gorgeous views where thousands of people come just to take a picture. So it turns out people come like 45 kilometers away from Jogja just to take pictures and there's hundreds of people here. <laughs> there's the queue right there. These guys are taking pictures. That's the photographer. That's the second photographer. This is another photographer, another viewpoint, another customer, another view. And the fifth spot, this one's even shaped like a heart, right there. Kalibiru was many times more touristy than I expected it to be. And in order to get that picture, I had to wait over one hour. I just waited one hour for those pictures and they're so bad. <laughs> I just came to some sort of a really beautiful waterfall place but it seems like everyone's already left there should be people here there should be people there and no one's around The only people I met at the waterfall were a group of really young kids who would come here every single day to simply hang out with their friends. Yay! Yay! These guys are having a lot of fun at the waterfall. <laughs> this has to be the best undiscovered scented place in Yogyakarta. Just came to another waterfall and it's insane how remote this place is. So I'm pretty sure there's not many tourists, if any. Bye, bye, bye. It was quite a tough hike, but but this place is definitely worth it. It has to be one of the most underestimated places in all of Jogja because you go to a mediocre place, there's hundreds of people. You go to an awesome place, there's just me. A random rice field somewhere on the way to my destination and this is it <laughs> Yeah. 
just came to some really cool viewpoint and I'm searching for the view right now but it looks like it's gonna be great and this is the view wow there's a river a lot of mountains trees rice fields oh this is good stuff hey eh? actually better than I expected this is definitely the best spot here I'm on the platform Another viewpoint here, a new one that's still being built right there. Wow, this is great. Look at the view, all the trees and bushes and everything. The sunset right there. Wow, wow, wow. I came to another place and they have another really epic viewpoint right here. With that view. So you can be standing literally at the end of it and take a picture with you. These places are many, many, many times better than Kalibiru and there's hundreds if not thousands of people there and here there's just a few and they're free. <laughs> Good stuff. motorbike literally the whole day and I uh, feel very tired now but at the same time super happy because there's no better way to explore these surroundings than with a bike oh, I need some food and a shower <laughs> another early morning another day that will be spent motorbiking uh. Way too many people for me. I took a few videos and a few photos of the mountains and I'm leaving. spent hours motorbiking across many different small uh, mountain villages that's a random village and there's hundreds of villages like that and that is the view <laughs> the road is apparently not the best but it's good enough and uh, the view definitely pays for it all this is not yeah 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 I just motorbiked up this mountain on this tiny road. It's extremely, extremely steep, but this is the view. And apparently they have a viewpoint right there. So now I'm gonna go check it out. Beautiful view. <laughs> Beautiful view. You're tired. I'm strong. <laughs> You're strong. I cannot. I believe in you. Cannot. I believe in you, man. Yeah. Do it. Go. Yes. Pergi, pergi, pergi! <laughs> oh, this guy just doesn't care. Wow! Wow! And so I'm finally here. That is the viewpoint. Oh, they have a ladder. Pretty tall ladder. Uh, this uh, this bamboo house is not the the most stable, I guess, because it squeaks and uh, some of the bamboos are missing. But the view is amazing. The view is absolutely amazing. Would you look at that? They're burning trash. Wow, so much trash. Plas they're burning plastic. Man, this is one of the nicest viewpoints in all of Jakarta. And they're burning plastic in here. Uh, uh. I will have to descend this mountain with my motorbike and the road is extremely steep and very very narrow um um and so it begins okay. 
The water seemed to be okay. After a while, it started drizzling, and then it turned into this. whether I can use their bathroom and of course they agreed because Indonesians are such nice people. That is the loo, that's where they wash their clothes, that's where, where they hang them. That's the sink apparently. Yeah. Emergency. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Yes. Bye bye. Hati hati ya. Ya. Bagus. right after that oh. Oh, it really wears you out apa kabar berapa harganya saya orang Indonesia eh 105 ya di rumahku ID card bagus 30 30 I just came to one of the most famous places in all of Jakarta, the Borobudur Temple. I went to the entrance of the temple and there were so many people and so many buses and cars and minivans that obviously I didn't even go in because it's such a waste of time. So I motorbiked up a hill and now I'm trekking to the very top where I should be able to see all of the temple. <laughs> And the places in Jakarta are so beautiful. There's so many mountains and forests and rivers and, and stuff like that. I love it. I love it. So that is the Borobudur Temple. It's so far. I can't see anything. It's there. Right there. <laughs> I wish it was so much closer so you could actually see the temple and the people in it. But either way, they have a chicken church right here. That's the church. Apparently they're having some construction in here. But uh, yeah, this is it. Boom. Wow. <laughs> this is cool. Didn't really know they have a church inside. I thought that's just the name, you know? And it's so spacious. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> they even have some speakers inside. Oh man, that is so cool. Okay, going up. No drugs. Help me. Oh, okay. This is still about drugs. That's about drinking. That's about drugs, drugs, smoking. Wow, this exhibition really does have a topic. Even further up. There's so many people. There's a queue. So I'm at the top. There's a lot of people. But the view is great. All around us. Chris. 
Christmas tree. <laughs> yes. So I decided to come back and check out the temple because it was too far from the viewpoint. But look at the crowd! <laughs> ah, this is insane! There's literally hundreds of cars in the parking lot right there. So apparently the ticket for locals costs less than 2 euros. For foreigners, it's more than 20 euros. So it's insane, it's so expensive. To just see an overcrowded temple. It says, welcome to Borobudur Temple, one of the greatest monuments of Buddhists, where the magic and the secrets of nature are wrapped in beauty. Apparently there's some holidays for students in Indonesia and it's also a Sunday. So they told me there's about 40,000 people today at visiting the temple. I'm not going in. <laughs> yeah, and I know most people come to Yogyakarta just to visit this temple, but man, I'm absolutely sure I'm gonna hate the experience. Because look at the crowd. It's insane. Look at all the cars and na 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 na. <laughs> This was my last evening in Jogjakarta and I wanted to do something special. So I asked around and they told me about this really beautiful beach that I can overlook from a very tall cliff. And that is exactly where I went for sunset. Went up a hill uh, to see the, the beach from, uh, from a distance. Oh, it's beautiful. There's literally thousands of people. Apparently they also have some sort of a trek here uh, to the very top, which is what I'm gonna do now. Here it goes. When I finally reached the top, I realized why this place was so famous among the locals. At that point, it was a little bit too cloudy for us to see the actual sunset. However, it was still gorgeous. Mm -hmm. 